Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Weird Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts from the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding consecutive available seeds part 2. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called cinema with two different columns, seed ID and free. Free is a Boolean data type. Seat ID is an auto increment column for this table. Each row of this table indicates whether the IHC is free or not. 1 means free while 0 means occupied. We are asked to write a solution to find the length of the longest consecutive sequence of available seats in the cinema. Note, there will always be at most one longest consecutive sequence. If there are multiple consecutive sequences with the same length, include all of them in the output. Return the result table ordered by first seed ID in ascending order. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we have five different seats. Four of them are free. So what is the longest consecutive seat IDs that are free? So three, four and five. So the minimum is three, maximum is five. And how many total length is three? And that is what you have in our output. So to solve this question, what we need to basically do is we are only concerned about whether it is free or not. So we can make sure that, okay, where keep only those rows where free is equal to one. And then what we can do is we can apply the logic that we can try to rank the seat IDs. Think about it. Here you have seat ID one, which is free two, which is not free three again free. Since I already discussed that we are only concerned about the free seat. So let's ignore seat ID two. So we have one. 1 and then 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, right? Now, if we rank this, so this will be assigned rank 1. This is going to be assigned rank 2, rank 3, rank 4. Now, if you subtract the ranks with the seat ID, let me just firstly go ahead and try to do that so that it's easier for us to, you know, comprehend that. So from this table called cinema, we are only concerned about those rows where free is equal to 1. Then what we should do is let's keep both the columns and then try to rank. Now, ranking is done by three different ways. Row number, rank, dense rank. Let's use row number here because we want incremental values for every seat. So, row number over and then order by seat ID. Okay. And let me just alias this as rank. Okay. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay. Now, if you look at it, what we have is we are only concerned about the free, right? So seat ID one assigned rank one, seat ID three assigned rank two, four assigned rank three, five assigned rank four. Now the question says that seat ID is a auto increment column, right? So obviously the seat ID is increased by one. And if the ranks also increase by one, if you subtract them, the difference is always going to be the same. If they are consecutive, how? Just think about it here. If we subtract seat ID with the rank, the value is going to be zero. Three minus two is one. Four minus three is one. Five minus four is one, right? So here you had the difference is equal to zero. However, in all the three rows where you have consecutive available seats, you have difference is equal to one, which is same, right? So you see how you can get the consecutive part by using the subtraction between seat ID and the ranks that you used. The moment the difference changes, that means the consecutive nature ended, right? So let's try to do that. So here we do not need just the rank. What we basically need is we need the difference between the seat ID and the row number or the rank that we calculated. So let me just do this seat ID minus the rank that you created. Let me just bring down the rank here. And since this difference is going to be not just rank. So let me just alias this as diff. Now let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if you look at it, so here you have the difference is equal to zero. However, so whenever you have the difference is equal to same, that means that you have consecutive amount of seats that are empty, right? So let's save this in a common table expression. So with CTE as this entire thing goes into parentheses. Now what we need is we need the longest consecutive sequence. So obviously we need to group by the difference because this difference column is basically trying to identify which all seats are consecutively free. So let's group by the difference, count the minimum because in the output we need the minimum that is the first seat ID, last seat ID and the length as well, right? So let's try to do this. So from this common table expression, let's group by the difference then what we are doing is let us return the difference then we do not need difference but i'm just you know returning it then for every 
consecutive thing we need the minimum of seed id and that should be aliased as first seed id then you also need the maximum of seed id and that should be aliased as last seed id and then you finally need the length the length is basically count the number of rows so count start and then alias this as consecutive seat length okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it if let me just drag it to the left so you have difference zero and one so you have one of them and then another one of them. there it says we need the one with the maximum length so obviously we need to rank by the consecutive seats length column in descending manner and whenever your rank is equal to one that is the one that has maximum length so what we can do is again after this we can go ahead and try to rank this so let's try to use dense rank now why we are using dense rank in this case again remember the question says if there are multiple consecutive sequences with the same length include all of them in the output that means you cannot use row number you can use rank or dense rank it does not matter i usually prefer dense rank so dense rank over and then how we are basically getting this column we are doing a count star right so order by count star in descending manner and then let's alias this as rank now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it let me just drag it again to the left so obviously this is the consecutive seeds which has the highest rank because it has the highest length right now what we need is let's save this entire thing again in a common table expression too because we only need to keep those rows where rank is equal to one so so cte2 as then again this entire thing goes into parentheses and then finally we need that hey from this common table expression to keep only those rows where rank is equal to one and return me only the three columns that are required in our output first seat last seat and consecutive seats and order by the first seat id so return me to so return the required columns we need to also order by the first seat id okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what to get in our output so yeah if if you look at it this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and sum it to say pass all the test cases yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah very tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly we are only concerned about seats which are free so we kept only those rows and then we tried to calculate the difference why because that difference is actually trying to identify which all seats are consecutively empty and the logic that we used is if the seat id increases by one and you rank them and rank also increases by one that means that the difference is going to be the same and that means they are consecutively free if there is a seat which is not free in between the difference will change and therefore we use the same logic once we had that difference we grouped by the difference and try to get the minimum maximum and the count star so basically the length of the consecutive seats available and then we also rank them based on the highest length once we had all the required output then we simply kept those rows where rank is equal to one because we need the length of the longest consecutive sequence of available seats in the cinema so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video